Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 12.11 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. 12.11 is called Patterns in Measurement Units. So we're going to be making some tables, figuring out what the conversions are seeing by looking at patterns. So it says here, oh by the way if you're in my class you should be filling out page 487 and 488 in your big books as we go along. Okay, Patterns in Measurement Units. That's the name of the lesson. We want to be able to see how we can use patterns to write number pairs for measurement units by the end of the lesson. Okay, here in the connect it says the table at the right, and this one right here, relates yards and feet. You can think of the numbers in the table as number pairs. One and I know this is hard to three, see, but this is a three. One yard equals three feet. Those are a pair, one and three. Two yards equals six feet. So those are a pair, two and six. Three yards equals nine feet. So three and nine are a pair. Four yards equals 12 feet. So four and 12 are a pair. Five yards equals 15 feet, so 5 and 15 are a pair. All right, the number pairs show the relationship between yards and feet. One yard is equal to three feet, two yards is equal to six feet, three yards is equal to nine feet, and so on. So that's an example of a pattern. And now we're going to Practice down here with Lillian made the table below to relate two units of time. It tells us already it's going to be something to do with time. So seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years. What units of time should we put on the top? So we're going to use the relationship between the number pairs to label, to figure out what the labels should be for this table. So it's hard to see, but we have one and seven is the first pair. So one of something equals seven of something else. We have two and 14. Two of something equals 14 of something else. Three and 21. So we can see the pattern is multiply by seven. Four of something equals 28 of something else and 5 equals 36. So first of all it says list the number of pairs. We've got 1 and 7 is a pair. We've got 2 and 14 is a pair. We've got 3 and 21 is a pair. 4 and 28 and finally, 5 and 36. Describe the relationship between the numbers in each pair. Well, we are multiplying by 7 each time. So it's 7 times greater. So I'm going to think back to my units of time. And I'm going to ask myself, if I have one of something it equals seven of something. And I'm gonna think specifically about minutes, seconds, hours, days, weeks, months, years. And I'm going to try to remember, and then I'll say, I think I, I know what it is. One week has seven days in it. Two weeks have 14 days in them. That matches the pattern. So this one will be labeled weeks and this one will be labeled days. All right, so hopefully that makes sense to you. We're going to flip it over and do page 488. Okay, we're just gonna do the try this. Jasper made the table below to relate two customary units of liquid volume. So we know if we're looking at our conversion chart, it's going to be something, we're going to have to label it something that's on the liquid volume list. What customary, so that even makes it 
narrows it down for us more, customary units of liquid volume, does the pattern in the table show. First, list the number pairs. That's already there for us. One and four. And two and eight. Three and twelve. Four and sixteen. And five and 20. And then describe the relationship. Looks like we're multiplying, multiply by four. So something's four times bigger than something else. So if I go back and I look at my customary unit of liquid volume conversion chart, or if I can remember this in my head, something that's four times greater than another unit it was gallons is four times bigger than quarts. So that's how I do that. And then it says, what other units could you have used to label the columns above? Well, there's more than just gallons and that is four times bigger than quarts. It could have also been quarts are four times bigger than cups. So there's a possibility of two things that it could be. Gallons and quarts. Gallons are four times larger than quarts. And quarts and cups. Quarts are four times larger than cups. So the only way that you would know that is by actually looking at your conversion chart or if you happen to memorize the conversion chart. Kudos to you if you happen to memorize the conversion chart, because that's a lot of stuff to memorize. All right, so this has been Lesson 12.11. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message.